Hi guys, it's Elle here to do your July 2021 general reading. It's a general reading Scorpio, so it will not resonate with all of my Scorpios, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into the Scorpio. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Scorpio, we got an interesting reading here. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the cards. I mean, if the, okay, okay. Computer want to do what it want to do. I don't like that. All right. So Scorpio, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. All right, so it looks like... Um, Okay, some of you want to do what you want to do. Some of you want to have, I said this before, some of you want um, a third party in your relationship. You want like a, it is just merely uh, sex based. Because we got the devil, the um, knight of wands, and then the, the third party, the three of pentacles. Um, you want this one person to be a part of your relationship. For some of you, if you're the woman, you want another woman. If you're a man, maybe you want another man. Or if you're a man, you want another woman. Some of you, you do want this. You want a third party here. Um, you want to be able to go back and forth between this person with the um, Knight of Wands coming up. Okay? Um, it's not a hassle for you to go back and forth either. It's not, you know, tiresome. You, you kind of like it, you know? Um, you like the juggling act. You like the change that it brings to you. You know, one person on this day or these days and then the other person on another day. The cards are just asking you here, Scorpio, to question your desires. Are they pure? Mm, heart chakra. So you might want to do some meditation, listen to some meditation music on your heart chakra because that devil card is coming up here for you. Some of you have a blockage with the four of, of yeah, the four of hearts coming up. Um, you have a blockage. You're, you're not able to um, envision your future. Your third eye chakra is blocked here. Um, you're not able to to leave the present in in terms of spirit and mind, and have um, a clear vision of what your future looks like and then come back to the present and start to make a decision choices action in terms of how to get to that that future vision for yourself and some of you are having a hard time doing that something is blocking you and it might be some heartbreak some heartache um maybe you're being a little too self-centered too depressed or emotional or there's some depressive thoughts here so they're asking you to get outside of yourself um, and look at what is before you because you have the opportunity to change your home and or journey. The home also, the word home, when we start talking about that in Tarot, it can also be interchanged with heart. You get a chance to change your heart, you know, and your journey, okay? And some of you can't see that journey because your third eye is blocked, okay? Um... Some of you out here, you are just winning, okay? All I keep hearing is win, 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 win. And off camera, what I was shuffling for you, the vision that I got for you is um, a hatchling, and, uh, a bird breaking out of the the uh, shell, out of the uh, eggshell, hatching. So something new is starting for you. Now, this could be new love. It could be a new business that's going to be very profitable for you. You're just being filled with spirit. You're manifesting from a place of emotional fulfillment, love, satisfaction. So that's very good. The King of Wands, he's the king of, of I want or desire, right? What do I desire? And the cards are just asking you to question your heart, your desires. Are they pure? Um, we manifest from our heart. What are your heart's desires? So make sure your heart chakra is... Um, at a place of you're not 
manifesting toxicity, addiction, codependency. The devil card just says make sure you're not choosing a route that's going to make you later be entrapped or entrapment or encapsulated or you're going to have to find your way out. It's going to be a maze. It's going to be, you know, digging yourself out of the hole, says the devil. Um, make sure that you're not being too extravagant in your choices either. And that also comes up because um, we had the three of pentacles come out. Some of you have legal issues. Some of you, your legal issues can be about maybe a separation and or a divorce maybe due to infidelity here um it says make sure you're just not going overboard um you're not you question your heart's desires i know you want to win and it looks like you are make sure that in legal matters because you have a you have a hell of a lawyer here with the king of swords um make sure that you are being fair being equal equality um make sure you're not overindulgent or taking more than you need okay um it says that money looks good you are you found new ways of bringing in money uh new revenue streams here um your home is nice you're nice you're concerned about your body what you put in your body how you look you're nurturing your children and the men or women around you um just practicing a healthy lifestyle here. Some of you also could be into into tarot or um, some type of esoteric, healthy living, something of that nature where you're you're nurturing something. Some of you you are in partnership with this King of Wands, or you are in legal battle with this King of Wands. Okay. And this person is going to have to, um, they're going to have to, uh, this is going to be a struggle for them. They're going to have to kind of go all over the place and juggle to get the money or something that they, they owe to you. Um, they might be at a place of depletion too. And it was all because, uh, maybe they, they ran out on the connection. They couldn't stay put. They didn't stay put. This could have been your husband. He's typically married. The King of Wands. Sexy individual. Outgoing. Charismatic. Attracts a lot of people. Men and women. You could be coupled with this person now. You're going to have a level of success here. You're, you're winning something. Okay. You're walking off and strutting your, your stuff. You win the battle. Not the war, but the battle. You got over some type of cheating scandal here. And it could have been very public. Six of Wands. Public for you. You know, maybe all your friends and your family knew about it. Or you could be on TV. It could be public. You and someone are estranged here. The King and Queen of Swords. And then there's the King of Wands. You have a new love. There's also estrangement between you and someone else. Maybe that you were married to or coupled to. Coupled with. Somebody wanted to bring the relationship back together, but I don't think you want that. You've moved on, you've transitioned, and you're firm in that it's over. Yeah, you're firm in the fact that it's over. This person is in deep isolation in terms of why won't you take them back? You may have even lost some friends in the midst of changing or shifting in your life or some shift or change has, that has happened in your life. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, definitely winning, Scorpio. Uh, winning in legal matters. Winning um, maybe even in business. You have a new love for some of you. You're letting somebody or something go. You're no longer going to be codependent or stuck to. Some of you want a third party in your connection. That came up in another reading for you. 
If this resonates for you, Scorpio, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Um, you can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Take care.